BCM offering MLock. Let's check it out. To me, BCM makes the best fighting AR-15 rifle. Uh, the quality that they put into these, um, really the specs uh, and just the testing and processes. If you ever go to their website, uh, they list everything they do, which I really like. A lot of times you can go to some companies that offer AR-15s and they can be very vague or they just don't have a lot of detail. And that's one of the things that BCM does. They have a lot of independent testing with their barrels. Of course, their bolts are always MPI and HPT uh, tested and just a lot of good processes. And it's one of the reasons why I've always really preferred BCM, especially for my go-to rifle. One of the things too about Paul Bufani, the owner of BCM, he's a former Marine and he is a staunch Second Amendment supporter. Now I heard that they were now offering M-Lock accessories, uh, which, you know, BCM has been offering the KMR handguard, which is a, a key mod handguard for a number of years, uh, even after M-Lock came out. And so finally, I think after some of the uh, reports that came out about the comparison between the key mod and the M-Lock, I guess they decided that M-Lock was a great option. Uh, they're still keeping the uh, KMR and the key mod accessories, but the M-Lock I think is gonna be really popular with BCM. Now we have one of the 15 inch MCMR handguards on here and of course it is fully M-Lock compatible. The rifle itself, we have a BCM Mod Zero stock and pistol grip and one of their trigger guards. Uh, this is from an earlier build. Guys, I'll, I'll tell you, I just really like BCM products for a lot of reasons. I have one of their bolt carrier groups. This whole upper is one of the uh, BCM uppers. But not only do they have the hand guards, they have accessories to go with it. They have a number of rail systems, of course, their hand stops and other things. And on top here, we have one of the Trigicon 1 to 6 by 24. And this is one of their AccuPoint scopes. A review's coming up on this. This came from opticsplanet.com. Before we get started, we're going to make sure the gun is unloaded. Uh, the chamber is empty. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, which I get a lot of questions about, is this little stand. I got this at Brownells, uh, and then I just added it to a wood base. But uh, these are great to be able to display your rifle and to work on them. Now this is designated as the MCMR, which is the M-Lock compatible modular rail. And the key mod is called the KMR. The cross bolt locking system, uh, right here you can see part of it, and there are two interlocking bolts that kind of go through, gives this a super secure fit. It keeps it from any kind of uh, vibration or any kind of distortion. There's also a locking plate back here that keeps it from rotating. They do use a steel barrel nut as well. Uh, once this system is in place, uh, it's, it's impervious to movement. I have a number of these in the KMR configuration and they're solid. Uh, the finish on here is a kind of a matte, hard anodized finish. It is one of the Type 3 Class 2 finishes, which is up to military specs. It's one of the things that BCM does is they go beyond mil spec. Uh, these are approved uh, by the U.S. military, all the processes that BCM does. So uh, you are going to get some really good quality that's going to be consistent. The entire Picatinny rail section is T-marked. And the diameter of the rail is one and a half inches on the outside and 1.3 inches on the inside. The weight on the rail is about 10 and a half ounces, including the barrel nut and all the hardware. And the handguard is 6061T6 aluminum. Uh, you know, looking over all the points of the handguard, it's just very well finished. There's a lot of attention to detail. You have seven sections of M lock slots. And of course, accessories can be put on wherever. Included is one of their QD sling mounts uh, and marked very clearly laser etched is BCM. And of course, these are made in the USA. Now for this project, of course, we're using the BCM and this is the MCMR new M-Lock handguard. Uh, we have the Criterion barrel. This is a 16 inch, excellent match grade barrel. 
Uh, it is in the mid-length gas system. And if you've ever seen Keanu Reeves when he's shooting the AR, they are using a Criterion barrel in that sequence. Um, this is the Aero Precision upper, and I went ahead and installed it. It was stripped. Uh, they have the Wheaton Arms deployment comp, and we have it in the copper. We also have the Odinworks adjustable gas block. Now, I'm using the Brownells upper receiver vise. Uh, I've had a lot of people to tell me I needed to get the Geisley reaction rod, and it's on the way. <laughs> also from Brownells, which is a great source for all your tools, especially if you're doing builds like this. So take your upper receiver, place it in your vise. Uh, this is really important when you're doing your installing your barrel. Now we're going to take our Criterion barrel, and this is in 223 Wild. Um, I've done a video about 223 Wild. It really uh, bridges the gap between 223 and 556. It just makes it more accurate. So we're going to take a little bit of Aeroshell 33. This is lithium grease, anti-seize compound, and we're just going to put it on the barrel extension. Next, we're going to just slide our barrel into the upper receiver. It's got a nice tight fit. Because the barrel is fitting so tightly, I'm going to take my mallet with the nylon end, just tap it right into place. Next, I'm going to take that air shell and I'm going to put it on the threads of the receiver. This is NATO approved. It's great. I get this stuff on eBay from a guy, and uh, I'll have the link down below in the description. One thing you don't want to do is get this on your fingers. It seems to stay. <laughs> All right, we're going to take our barrel nut and go ahead and just put it onto the receiver threads. Now we want to get this hand tight and then we're going to take it off. And we're going to do that three times and that'll just season the threads. And this time we're going to lock it on. We're going to take our torque wrench Pop on our barrel nut wrench from BCM. Uh, they recommend 40 to 50 foot pounds. There we go. We're all set. Now we're going to install the gas block with the gas tube. And this is one of the Odinworks adjustable gas blocks. You want to make sure that it is lined up to get the proper gas through the port and here we have set screws at the bottom we're going to tighten those down be careful because you can misalign your gas block now there's a small end plate it's an anti-rotational end plate or index plate and it goes in these slots right here at the back of your forearm with these little fingers that will actually ride on each side of your upper receiver and this helps to keep it locked into place. This is steel while the handguard is aluminum, so you're not going to have any flexing. Now the fit onto the barrel nut is tight. Uh, in fact, it's meant to be that way. So as we bring our handguard over, you're going to notice that it's really going to take some force to get this placed. So what BCM recommends is to take a hair dryer and to heat up the end just to expand it a little bit, just to get it over, and then when it cools, it'll compress down. It's recommended for one minute, and then we're gonna go ahead and slide it over. Also, you don't wanna wiggle the handguard as it goes over, you wanna go straight into it. Now we're going to have each of those little fingers onto the handguard. Want to make sure they're in place and aligned. Now this is about as far as we can get so far. So we're going to take a mallet and we're going to tap it. And I'm going to use a rawhide mallet to tap this in. There should be a slight gap in between the receiver and the handguard. 
Now we're going to take the two clamp blocks and we're going to place those on either side. There's a little shelf to kind of rest it on. Now we have two locking bolts, one with a star head and then one that's just round. Uh, the star head will go into this side into the hole at the front. Once we get it in, we're just going to get it started. This is one of the star keys that is included. What we're going to do is not get it tight. We're going to have it about a turn or so loose. Next, we're going to put the round locking block in. We just want to catch the threads. Now tighten up the other side. This is supposed to be 30 to 40 inch pounds of pressure. Uh, my gauge only reaches 25, so really just nice and hand tight, but not too tight. Again, just 30 to 40 inch pounds. That is a solid lockup. Now on the Criterion barrel, it does have a very nice recessed crown, so that's going to help with accuracy. And of course, once we put the muzzle brake on here, that's even going to be more protected. I'm going to take the Aeroshell MS33 lithium grease. Go ahead and put it on the muzzle brake. Next, we're going to take our crush washer in with the expanded end out. Go ahead and place it on. Now we're going to take our Wheaton Arms deployment comp, start threading it on. Next, we're going to take our armorer's wrench. This is one of the Magpul armorer's wrenches, and we're going to tighten this down. We want the ports to be in the up position, so we're going to have to really get some Turn this about half a turn. Now before you get done, you want to make sure you line this up uh, in line with your barrel. Okay, we've got this lined up. Now we're ready to take it out of the vise. We're going to add the M-Lock QD mount. Uh, has the little rectangular pieces and you just line it up with these little slots. Then take your wrench and just tighten it down. And it's that easy. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for sponsoring the ammo. Uh, you get a 5% discount using Suit00 at freedommunitions.com. Now, BCM has two different websites. It's Bravo Company Manufacturing, uh, of course, BCM, and that's where they offer a lot of their rifles and different systems they use. And then they have Bravo Company USA, which shows a lot of their accessories and different things that they do. Uh, they're both excellent websites. And again, guys, if you're looking for a lot of information before you purchase and you like to do research, uh, Bravo Company Manufacturing is an excellent choice. I want to thank Paul for sending the handguard, every once in a while he'll send me something for me to do a review on and I just really appreciate it. I, he doesn't pay me to do it. Uh, I just really love BCM products. So check out BCM as bravocompanymanufacturing.com and also bravocompanyusa.com. I think you'll find all of their products are top notch and if you're really wanting to build an excellent rifle, that's a great way to go. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. So we're going to do a lot of shooting. Okay. So we're going to so we're going to go over some of the features. We're going to locking. What are those called? See you.
him. Piss him. Piss him. They're cross. They're cross bolt lock. They're cross bolt. <laughs> cross bolt. Uh, their cross bolt locking system uh, really. Okay. The cross. The, okay. the cross bolt. The cross. The cross. Now the weight on the rail is about ten and a half inches. Let me put undue pressure. Again, just 30. Crap. BCM offering M-Lock? Let's check it out. 